Hello, this is Gigi with DPI, and today I wanted to walk you through our broker solution service. So if you're watching this, you are a broker, you may be a branch manager or team lead, and you want to provide your agents with some sort of landing page or sub-agent page. So the first step is the website. So as part of Broker Solutions, you do get a main website. This could be for your brokerage. It could be for a branch, a specific branch. It could be for uh, a team, if you're a team lead. So you do get a full website, a full IDX website. Now, it comes with sub-agent sites. Now, let me show you that. So this is a sub-agent site for the main site. As you can see here, the difference is the domain. So it says my first name followed by the domain of the main site. So notice the main site here and notice the sub-agent site here. So this is the URL. This is the domain for the sub-agent site. And this is the landing page. Now, I would argue it's probably a little bit better than a landing page because you have other tabs here that the user can go to. But for the main page, it's pretty much everything that is important. And that is information about your agent, a search box, information about them if you fill out their bio in the back end. Exclusive listings are listings within the brokerage followed by a footer with their social media icons if they have any. So this is a quick search, but you also have an actual search page on that landing page, which has access to the entire MLS. It's a full IDX landing page. So it's not watered down like other services. It's a full IDX landing page for your sub agents. Our listings is the same thing as the widget here. These are all the listings associated with the brokerage. And then you have a contact page, which is a more expanded version of the footer. You do have the Google Translator. So the site can be, the sub-agent site could be translated into whatever language. So that is the sub-agent site. Now every sub-agent has its own CRM. So now you can provide your agents with a fully functioning CRM. And I wanted to hop on over there. So if you scroll to the bottom of that landing page, you're going to see agent login. Now, if you're an agent, a sub agent, and you have one of these and you don't know your password, just click the forgot password and you'll get a one time password texted to your phone. From there, you can set your password. But for now, I'm just going to do my login since I know it. In the CRM, is a mirror of the CRM from the full site. So you have your client center where you can organize your database. You can put them into specific folders if you want to. You can uh, add them manually here by clicking the add client button. You can also import a CSV file if you have that. Um, now, there are four automations that the CRM has. I wanted to walk through them really quick. Uh, you can set birthday automations. So if you come here and you set someone's birthday, the drip, the, the, the graphic and the campaign is set, your client will be hearing from you and your brokerage every year on their birthday. If you go to tools and you go to holiday email templates, your clients, anyone with an email in your client center will also be hearing from you on these holidays. So you can, there by default, everything is turned on. You can turn them off individually. You can also manage the graphics if you want to. So you do have that. Another automation is the weekly newsletter. We send out a weekly newsletter to everyone in your database with an email. Let me show you what that looks like really quick. Let me bring that over. So this is the Monday newsletter. Okay. It goes out Monday mornings. It would be branded to your brokerage. It would have top real estate related articles, more information about your brokerage and your social media icons. So you have birthdays, you have holidays, you have a newsletter that's going out. You also have safe searches. So safe searches are listing alerts. Uh, 
I'm sure you're familiar with them, but this will essentially alert a client anytime there is a particular new listing inside the criteria you set for them in their safe search. And the way you create a safe search is very simple. I, I'm going to put a video, a detailed video in the description below so you can see exactly how to set one up. But I'm going to just do a quick walkthrough now. It's little blue person. Scroll down to the section that says save searches. You'll see that I already have one set up for Jane Smith. But you would toggle this on. By default, it's off. You would add a save search. This opens up the search page on your landing page. You would create the save search for the client, fill in their criteria, and you're going to hit save. You're going to hit save again, and that'll take you back to your client center where you're going to see if a client has a save search set up or not. So those are the four automations of the CRM. You have birthdays, holidays, a newsletter, and listing alerts going out to anyone in your database with an email. And that is all part of the Broker Solutions subagent site CRM. So every subagent site would have this. And let's hop, hop on over back to the landing page just so you can take a look. If one of your agents wants to personalize this, they can just buy a domain and they can forward that domain to this domain address. But for the most part, most of the subagents just leave it as is. It's very simple. Their name followed by the domain. And then, of course, as mentioned, you do get a main full site as part of your broker solutions package. So I do hope this helps. If you have any questions, we're here. Thank you.